Did you know that the first company to successfully cultivate pearls, Mikimoto, has a museum in Mie Prefecture? Hi everyone, so today we are at Mikimoto Pearl Island where pearls were cultured successfully for the very first time in 1893. So it's got a very long and interesting history and the special guest we're going to have is san from the Mikimoto company come and explain a bit about the history and show us around. So, Ishikawa san, dozo. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Mikimoto Pearl Island. This is the birthplace of cultured pearls in Japan. The entire island is a theme park designed by Mikimoto Pearls to pass on the great work of Kokichi Mikimoto, the founder of the company, to future generations. In addition to the museum and store, there are demonstrations by traditional Amasi divers and a collection of natural pearls from around the world. First, we'll take a look at the exhibitions on the first floor. で、世界に some exhibitions teach the mechanism of pearl production, while the staff on site will demonstrate how they cultivate pearls. The size of the pearl depends on the size of the nucleus. The larger the nucleus, the more significant burden on the pearl. Even if the pearls are cultured, it is not always guaranteed to successfully produce a pearl. So, one of these is fake, and one of these is made with actual pearls. They feel the same to the touch, to me at least. What do, what do you think? They feel mostly the same. Visually, this one looks like there's a bit more variation. This is also this one's also slightly colder to the touch. And These are all look exactly the same, so maybe this one is artificial because they look so similar. And also, like if you rub them together, a slight plasticky kind of. We're not going to spoil the answer in this video, so you'll have to see for yourself. So we're now here at this special room for viewing the, the daily demonstrations by the Amasan. And the Amasan are women who dive and take care of the pearls. And they've been doing this for many years. Many of the Amasan today even are in their 70s or 80s. Um, so it's very cool we get to be here and actually see them at work. So they're going to dive into the ocean. And it's pretty cold, it's kind of they do just become full. All year yeah. round in the winter as well. As long as it's not raining, you can come here and see your show. Do you think you reckon you could do that? You could Definitely not. No, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. So we're really looking forward to see it. It's gonna be great. You can see the Amasan coming in on the boat, but the waves are quite big at the moment. It's incredible to think that they can still dive, even in these rough conditions. Well. 
We have just seen the Amazon demonstrate how they've been diving for pearls for gener like generations, right? Yeah, since the 1800s. Since the 1800s. And at first they jumped in and just kind of fell into the water very gracefully. And after that they would go up and then dive down head first with their feet straight up, grab a clam and then come back up, put it into the basket. They're sort of like, they're like elegant synchronized swimmers, aren't they? Yeah. It's amazing how they do it. And they can hold their breath for so long. Yeah. And it's quite choppy outside as well. It's quite windy, so yeah. it's even more impressive. It seems yeah. really tiring, and it's incredible to think that some of them are doing this into their 80s. Yeah, it's incredible. Okay, so we've just seen an incredible demonstration by the Amasans showing how they cultivate the pearls. We actually have another special experience lined up for today, so Shikawa-san. So this is an Akoya pearl oyster. And today we get to experience actually searching for pearls ourselves, which is a very like special thing to get to do. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing if we find any pearls. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, One, two, two three. three. Oh, do you see anything yet? No. We're gonna mm -hmm. use these tools to search. Let's search our pearls and see if we Not all pearls are guaranteed to develop a shine. Some pearls come out without the coating. So extracting pearls is really just like treasure hunting. This one. 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 This and then they'll be able to arrange this experience for you as well. For those of you who do this experience and actually find some pearls, you get to keep them and take them home, which is amazing. Um, now, not every clam produces pearls, but we got lucky and we found some really pristine ones. So, I don't know what we're going to do with them. But maybe a pair of earrings? Yeah, pair of earrings. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, it was a great experience and I highly recommend that you do it. So we've just seen the second floor of the museum and up here they have some amazingly crafted art pieces such as the pagoda on the right. Now this was shown at one of the World Expos in 1926. Now it's absolutely fantastic to look at and there's lots of other things to see here as well, isn't there? And in addition to these uh, pretty spectacular pieces, they also have more um, vintage pieces from the early days of the Mikimoto company. So you get to see the evolution of pearl jewellery. It's well worth a view on the second floor of the museum. There's another exhibit on the second floor, which houses a collection of pearls from all over the world, many of which predate the founding of Mikimoto.
So we just finished our tour of Mikimoto Pearl Island. We got to see the Amazons dive into the ocean. We got to see the exhibits in the shop, which was amazing. And we also got to find our own pearls inside of the oysters. And I happened to find a really, really nice looking one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I guess I'll let you decide that because you'll probably be the one who wears it. <laughs> what did you enjoy the most? I thought it was really cool to see the Amazon um, diving into the water. They did it so gracefully. It was almost like synchronized swimmers. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. And, you know, some of them do it until they're 70 or 80, which is amazing mm -hmm. to think, isn't it? Um, it's well worth a visit and you'll definitely enjoy it. Nikimoto Pearl Island is a fascinating insight into an industry that once took the fashion world by storm. A glimpse at a golden age that captivated women from Tokyo to Hollywood and even the Queen of England herself.